Hey, what's happening guys? We're at Tamales Bay doing a little crabbing and camping with some of our friends here. They've never been crabbing before, so hopefully we put them on some crabs and have a good crab dinner. So we're gonna drop some pots and see what we catch. can't really tell, but it's super breezy out. We had to come to the beach while we're just letting our crab pot soak. Top my boots too. So, other than that, it's a pretty nice day. Hey! We got one, Woo! two, three. That one's close on the right. Hey, that one first, that one might be a keeper. One of them looks But he's too small, not worth eating. Oh, we're gonna find our next pot. We got four pots out. Check the first one only had three crabs. So one was just short. So hopefully we get a couple keepers in this next one. All right, we're checking our second pot right here. Sophia's pulling it up. See it? See any color? Oh, big rock crab, that's huge. That's a huge rock crab. Good job. Well, we want Dungeness, but that one's pretty big. <laughs> That's massive. Okay, we're keeping that one. Yeah. Okay. Yes, got it. All right, we got it. We're big in. Give this bigger dude a measure. Let's see. Oh, it's, it's a male too. It's gonna be close, but let's see what we got. Oh, we got a keeper! Yeah! Let's go! <laughs> yep. That means that this other one might be good too. Yep. It's a female. I mean, you can still keep females, but they don't have as much meat. But we'll give we'll give her a measure to see. Oh yeah, she's just short. So you see like that little gap in there. Yeah. Okay. You want to try measuring one? Yeah. Still wants the bait. <laughs> ah! Let go, dude. Ah. Now he's cold. Yeah. Now he's grabbed there. There you go. Like well, go to the our cage. Other buoy walks out right there. Here's today's haul. One big rock crab and one kind of beat up dungeness. But at least everyone gets half a crab, so I'm gonna do some clamming too, so hopefully we get a couple of those. Alright, it's low tide here at Lawson's Landing. A bunch of other RVs by us. Got these clam guns that uh, I built. Never tested them out, but it's low tide and there's a couple other people we've seen clamming and getting some clams, so let's go try to get a few and add it to the crab that we're gonna eat tonight. Yeah, it's not even peak low tide yet, but you can see that some mud flats out here and some guys way out there clamming. But I've never clammed before. I have all the regulations on my phone, but yeah, let's see if we can catch a few. So my crab gauge here has a little hole for the steamer clams. Uh, if they like fall through the hole, then they're too small, but if they don't fall through the hole, then they're keeper size. Let's see what we got. Oh, look at those worms. They're like little like... Well, it's on that side. Yeah, what is that? Oh, it is like a worm. It's like a white, little like... I don't even know what the hell that is. Oh. 
parasitic worm. This came out of the hole that I was cleaning. I don't know what kind of fish this is, but <laughs> I don't know what it was doing in the hole, but it's alive. We'll let him go. Okay, there's a hole right here. Not even sure what to look for, but I think I got the technique down. <laughs> you push down and bury it in. We'll go back and forth. Heard cr something crunch. Let me you use your pilot hole. And then lift up. Oh. Uh, I got one. I smashed one. Oh, it's just a shell though. That was what I heard that was crunching, but you got, oh yeah, you did smash one. Oh, you got a gooey duck. But I think it's a dead one though. So this is a siphon. This looks like a, it's kind of like a weird looking penis thing. But I think it was already dead. Dude, I don't know what I just pulled out. <laughs> it's a hot dog. It's, I thought it was a hot dog, for real. I have never it seen it. This side. It's alive. What is that? What I have never seen it. coming out by your foot. Oh. Oh, it's like a, what is that? I think it's a pile worm. What is that thing? Here. It's just my hand for reference. What the heck? It's alive. It's got like a little siphon coming out of the end. She pulled out another. This oh thing is God, big. What if it's poisonous? What the hell are these things? Oh, and they're always on the centipede. Yeah, and then another centipede. Yeah, what the know. heck is this thing, dude? What the heck? I've never seen oh this my before. God. <laughs> they look like hot dogs. So in this hole, I think this is a ghost shrimp. And I got a smashed clam that I felt it break. But that's a good sign. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a ghost shrimp. He's still alive too. Yeah, we got this massive ghost shrimp came out of this hole. <clears throat> you know, they make good sturgeon bait. I don't think people eat them, but pretty cool. We got all these seagulls that are around us. Let's feed it to them. Oh yeah, they like those. It's our friend's new trailer. Well, camper trailer. Nice sunset view. Boat, some crab snares. No luck clamming, but there's the crabs from today. One rock crab and one dungeness. What's up, snack rats? So today I'm gonna build a clam gun. Uh, I've never been clamming, and I've always wanted to. It seems like a fun thing to do. So I'm gonna build one with pretty much most of the materials I already had in my garage from various projects. So the main materials are this three inch diameter piece of PVC. Most people online I've read use four inch, but this is just what I had lying around. And that's about 30 inches long. Uh, for the handle, I have a three quarter inch piece of PVC. It's about 18 inches long. And the only thing I bought was this three inch diameter cap for three bucks at Home Depot. And I just have two bolts with nuts and that's gonna secure the handle uh, to the cap. So I've got my measurements marked out and I'm gonna put the bolts here and here. Something like that. Throw some thread locker on these nuts so they stay tight. So to attach the base to the handle, I'm gonna use some of this PVC stuff that should bind it together pretty well. Here it is, all made. This stuff cures super fast too. It's pretty messy, but yeah, within like a minute, it's already rock hard. Um, I'm really excited to try it out, so I'll see you guys out on the water. So the original epoxy I used didn't hold up. I did a quick test of it and it came off. Um, probably because the cap wasn't perfectly flush with this tubing here. So instead I got some JB Weld and I'm gonna try that. And I'm gonna put a bolt through the cap and then through 
this piece so it'll be more secure. 